need to advance one forward to bring it down and unload it. Don't be afraid to ask someone. And when someone hands me a gun, as we're getting out here to grab my gun, I'm looking at them. If it's a pump gun, I want it open. If it's an automatic, I want the action open. I want to see it. So loading and unloading in your blind. Be careful. That's a, And I'm going to tell you that, and one of the things that I catch myself doing, and you'll hear people in the, in the blind flicking their safety. I have no problem with it because I know that they're checking their safety. But I know I've come up shot, shot twice, drop down, jam two more in, and all of a sudden the ducks are not coming back in. Well, your safety's probably off. Mm -hmm. So you gotta be manipulating your safety when you're in the blind. I don't care if it goes click, click. Here's what I don't like, because all of a sudden I say, here comes some ducks and rat, 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 click. Whoa, hey, whoa, who clicked the safety already? Don't be afraid to say something to your partners and stuff like that. Off Communication, just of uh, you and the people that you're with, just communicating on A, where your shooting lanes are, and we all know that sometimes we'll be docking or looking off to the side and the bird will sneak in and it's kind of just only one person sees it, but just be communicating with each other. Like, oh okay, the last thing I have to talk about is when you're in a blind and you're really bored and things aren't going on, <laughs> The one thing you don't get to do if you're a sportsman is shoot the last coot of the year coming by. You don't get to shoot a coot in this world just because you're bored in the blind. And with that being said, I have an award to give out. It's, it's a shirt that's specially made. And the shirt says, if it ain't a coot, Brian won't shoot. <laughs> and it's Team Kudas. Yeah, I told you at this point in the thing that uh, I asked Steve uh, Baxter to uh, give a blessing. Uh, but he isn't here. The Baxter family couldn't come this year. So I didn't quite know what to do because I haven't talked to the Almighty in some time. <laughs> I didn't know whether he listened to me, uh, but, uh, but it seems like we've had this place for 23 years now, and we've always asked for a blessing, and one of the things we've asked for is a safe hunt. And for 23 years, we've always had a safe hunt. So I didn't want to <coughs> take the chance of not asking for one this year, and so with that, I'm going to ask uh, the Almighty that uh, we want to bless the food that uh, we're going to eat and the wonderful cook and people that are going to serve it. And uh, we're thankful for that. Uh, we're, we're thankful mostly for the camaraderie that comes about each time. And we love to have the people from the second oldest club in the area <laughs> join us. You had to say that. <laughs> and, uh, and we ask especially for a safe hunt. So with that, we're having a meal. Amen. 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 Amen.